Hey guys, Jobin here. Got a little something to show you. Um, so I got a uh, vibratory tumbler. Uh, they're used by people who polish rocks, uh, people who reload uh, their own firearm ammo uh, to clean the cases and stuff. But in my case, I'm using it to do stone washing. And uh, these were sort of figuring out you know, how much time it took, exactly what media is to use and stuff. And this one turned out pretty good. It's a San Ramu 710. This was, I think about two, maybe three hours um, in the stone washer. I used like, uh, probably could see it in the, in the starting clip, sort of a uh, ceramic media. A lot of glare here. This looks really uh, bright because it's so sunny out here, but here, let me get a contrast. Like here's a, just in contrast, there's there's a factory polished edge. Looks pretty much like these do at the beginning. And see, uh, this one's probably the darkest. As for contrast there. cool uh, so this one was just uh, stone washed for a few hours uh, handle pocket clip and blade uh, this one here I was trying something different it the handle came out looking kind of sandblasted because in addition to the ceramic stones I had a, a um, fine grit abrasive media in there so it came out looking sort of sandblasted and it didn't come out quite looking right on the blade, so I just did like a standard stone wash on the blade on top of the sort of blasted look it had. Came out pretty decent. This is a... What is this? Is the model number still visible? I don't think the model number was printed on this one. It's a Enlon something something zero six? I, I can't remember. And uh, this little guy here got a stone wash. Pretty neat. Um, this one I really like. This one's mine, but uh, I'm not really trying to make any money on these. I just have too many knives, and if anybody wants either of these guys, you're looking for a small pocket knife, want something a little unique, I don't know, offer me a few bucks for them. I'm sure we can work something out. Because, you know, I experimented on them, learned something, and they'd be going back in the drawer. I, I don't really carry these ones much. Too many knives. Oh, also, you know, the little uh, Frankenstein project. My last video, you probably saw the, uh, the Enlon EL-01 blade that was prepped to do a pattern like this. Uh, this was actually the test run that I did earlier. Right out here, I can't see the screen, so I'm not sure if I have the angles right to show this. There we go, I think that works. Sort of amoeba, neuron kind of look. But actually on the other side, it's completely different. <laughs> so, kind of weird. Not really a favorite knife of mine, but it's okay. I uh, kind of like with these two. If, uh, if if anybody wants these, I'll just let them go for a couple bucks. Um, well, more than a couple, but <laughs> uh, you know, nothing expensive. But uh, a few bucks here and there uh, keeps me in acid and stuff to. Uh, Keep working on these projects. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for looking. Hope you think it was cool. Because this is pretty fun stuff to me. All right, guys. Jobin signing off. Remember where your knife is.